Mom, where's my sandwich? Mom, where's the sandwich? Oh, I guess I was gonna get it. Hey everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode, we got back home. We got our six gym badge, and Mom didn't make us a sandwich, which is already starting to piss me off a little bit. But in this episode, we are going to go to Cinnabar Island and explore. Of course, we're going to go through this route in the water. Um, basically a bunch of fishermen. I don't think any of these battles are hard, so of course, we're going to skip it like I've said a thousand times. Because, I mean, these remakes really don't have that many battles that are ever required. They're mostly just like, hey, if you want to get EXP, then do it. Which, I, I understand why it's like that, but you would think they'd do it more, because, I mean, what are people who just don't know that? And, well, for some people who are like, they've never played an RPG before, if they played my first one, that they just do that, and they're like, oh, I've never played an RPG, I'm not going to battle these guys because I don't want to. And then they're going to be super underleveled when they get to, like, a boss fight, or maybe the end of the game. Especially, like, uh, the Elite Four, whenever we get to those. I'm going to call them the Elite B Agents, because I like to. I just imagine, like, Bruno just dancing it out in his tux and everything. It'd be funny. But, of course, you'll run into a lot of water Pokemon out here. And it's kind of helpful that we do this, because our next gym is actually going to be a gym with fire-type Pokemon, so. At least it's not dickish like the last episode they gave us the whole, like, fog attack right before the Psychic Gym. It's just kind of douchebaggy, honestly. When, speaking of, like, types I never use, I never have used, like, a fighting type in Gen 1. I use them in other gens, especially, like, 3 through, or 3, uh, 4 through 6, but, uh, I think you know what I'm talking about. I say, I always just say that fighting type is also in Smash Brothers, and he's pretty kick-ass. It's actually one of my favorite Pokemon, but, um, of course it's Lucario, but, uh, I don't know, like, I never really, like, when it comes to, like, Pokemon this guy, I usually just stick, like, around the same, like, types. Like, I usually... I'll have an electric type, either be like Jolteon, Raichu, or a Pokemon we'll see later, which is called Electabuzz. But, um, I may use, like, for our type, it's usually like Gyarados, Lapras, or Blastoise. Actually, it's usually Blastoise. And, you know. I never really use a poison type in this game. I just never. Okay, Nido King, that's a lot. I do use Nido King. But, you know. What, uh, here's a question, I guess, for the day. What is your favorite type of Pokemon? And by that, I mean, like, not the ones you like to eat, douchebag, but, um, the favorite, like, type you like to use. Um, I don't know why I ran in there. Oh, if you run in here, you can actually get one of your fossils, uh, fixed up. Which, I'm actually gonna show... I don't show it in this episode, I'm actually planning to show it in the post game because there's another fossil that I need to go get, because I actually forgot about grabbing it and recording. Uh, but I'll show that in the post game whenever I get to recording that, which should be pretty soon. But the door there is actually locked, so basically, you know, the gym layer, which is Blaine, is not here, so you know. We actually have to go in Pokemon Mansion because the key is actually here. Yes, Blaine left the key to his gym in the a haunted mansion. We just need Luigi, basically. It's not really haunted, but we need Luigi. Or Eddie Murphy. I'm gonna go with Luigi, though, because I don't like that Eddie Murphy movie. Basically, this is Pokemon Mansion. It, to me, is the worst dungeon in the game, because it's boring, I don't like the music, there's a lot of battles, and you run into lots, and I do mean lots, of Pokemon. We have a robber. I don't know why I left this guy in, but he shows out Charmander. Charmander is the... Oh, we've seen Charmander before. That was a stupid... And it was a Squirtle, I'd explain it, but we already seen Charmander. Charmander's pretty adorable, Squirtle's top tier, though. Don't fuck with Squirtle, man. I've already seen Charmeleon. Um, uh, Ash's Charmeleon was a dick. I, don't, I still don't understand that. Like, I like how Ash's Pokemon, like, he had Charmeleon, which is super nice and always worked for him. He went to Charmeleon, though, which is a dick. And Charizard, he was a dick, but then Char Charizard became nice. I don't understand how... Well, Charizard's still kind of a dick, but you know what I'm saying. Charizard, at least, he'll do stuff now. He used to just be a lazy douchebag who did nothing. Sounds like me, actually. But if you go through here, you're actually now because we're getting ready to see it. There are always books with diaries around here. I mean, it says basically back there we saw we Christmas new newly discovered Pokemon Mew. So, it really thinks she, makes you believe that there was used to... Okay, but so there was a lab here. If you've seen Pokemon the first movie or the Origins, which actually, when the time this is going up, we do have an audio commentary of that starring me and Geotrix if you really want to watch it and listen to us talk for about nothing. 
do it. Um, here's the thing. They mentioned South, uh, South America here, but later on, they never mention, like, there's an America or a Japan. They just mention, like, I, for, like, America, like, in later games, which is the fifth gen, they basically call it Kalo. So, uh, you think if they ever remade this game, they actually may change from South America to South Kalos. Which is something that I'm really interested to see, because we always know that they like to make it based off other, like, countries and stuff. Where basically, um, of course, Kanto is based in Jodo, or Kanto is based in Jodo. Kanto is based in, uh, Japan, so it's Jodo, Hoenn, and Sinnoh. Uh, but then we have Unova, which is based in, like, North America, or in America in general. Uh, but then we have, uh, Kalos is basically France. I'm waiting for them to either do a South America... I don't know what they would call it. That or in England. I think that'd be pretty cool. I think they'll honestly do England next. If they don't do England, then I think they'll probably do uh, China. I don't know, though. It'd be cool to see. I'm just looking for the eventual <laughs> the Canadian, uh, the, can well, the Canadian, uh, uh, crap, region. <laughs> the Canada region. I can do that. I'm not gonna make a I'm not gonna make a Canada joke. But I respect you Canadians, believe me, I do. You are my second home in a way. If something ever happens in the United States, I'm coming up there. <laughs> yeah, I just imagine that didn't happen because that was a waste of time. But you to fall down that thing. I hate that. Like they have that there because it's like, hey, you fell down. You're a douchebag. Go back up. Waste more time. Run into more wild Pokemon. Scientist Ted? Hey, it's exactly in shadow. I guess he went from an Earth ring to a scientist. Move feet, nudge, nudge, sneeze to my Pokemon XD. LP, we don't watch that, it's a bad LP. Watch this one instead, which I believe is somewhat better. Somewhat, they being the keyword. Well, this is Electrode, is the evolution of Voltorb. Electrode is actually one of the fastest Pokemon in the game. I think it still is one of the fastest Pokemon in the game. Uh, the, like, I'm talking, like, later on. But, um, Electrode's Electro-type, it's not bad. It's mostly speed and special attack, which is not, it's not bad at all, but... I don't know, I've never been a huge fan of Electrode. Even though you get, like, three or four chances... You, know, you get, like, three or six chances to catch one in, like, Gen 2. I never used Electra though, but oh, he's just like yawning. I'm just really sleeping today, guys. Here's a question of the day: What is your favorite electric type? I guess that's like two questions of the day. Who gives a shit though? Um, for me, my favorite electric type is probably. Even though I'm scared of spiders, it's actually Galvantula from Gen 5. I really like Galvantula. And I will be using it for Gen 5, you better believe it. We're actually... Well, for this part, for this dungeon right now, we're actually under-leveled, but we're still going to... We're actually over-leveled, I mean, but for the boss fight, we're still going to be under-leveled. Which, by the way, you will be seeing the boss fight in this episode. Pokemon Mansion and the boss fight in one episode! It's such a great deal. Subscribe now. I'm kidding. That's something I guess I could talk about. I've always hated how Let's Players always tell, like, do the whole like, comment, subscribe. Because the thing is, if they're gonna do that, then they're just gonna do that. You shouldn't really tell them, oh, you have to like, oh, they're not really telling you to like, comment, subscribe, but like, I just, I've never seen a point to doing that, because I just think it's a big waste of time. By the way, if you walk out there where that red thing is, basically you walk outside of the uh, gym, or the gym, the mansion, you pretty much have to redo all of it, which, uh, that kind of pisses me off a little bit. But, you know, it's something I've never really liked how they're like, oh, please like, comment, subscribe, and it just always kind of got on my nerves. I especially, hey, I'm not going to say any names. Oh, Mewtwo's far too powerful with a photo curve or whatever. So, Mewtwo, huh? These statues kind of look like Mew, but, you know, we've never seen Mew, so how do I know? Uh, paradox! <laughs> but, um, basically... A Pokemon called Mewtwo, which they genetically made, has been here. I don't show off these diaries, by the way. I kind of forgot to that. As soon as I stopped recording, I was like, oh, shit, I forgot to show those off. But of course, Mewtwo is a force to reckon with, but, you know, maybe we'll see it sometime in the future. You never know. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, sneeze. But Pokemon you can actually find here, you can, of course, find a Growlithe. And, of course, we got TM14 Blizzard. It's a really strong ice-type mode, but it only has 5 PP. 
Haha, <laughs> PP. That, and it's basically, uh, it doesn't hit very often. You can, of course, teach it to your, uh, well, you can teach it to Lapras if you have that. You can also teach it to Blastoise if that's what your starter is. Uh, Gyarados, I think, can learn Blizzard. I know for sure it can learn, like, Ice Beam, but I'm not sure about Blizzard, but... Blizzard's not a bad move if you want it. I just prefer Ice Beam, because Ice Beam hits more often. And here we got a secret key, so now we can actually get into Blaine's Gym, so... Yippee. Here we got TM and TM22, which is Solar Beam. Solar Beam is actually a really powerful move. However, there's a catch. Um... Here's Ditto. Ditto is supposed to be sex like Pokemon. Of course, I can transform to other Pokemon uh, that you want to. Ditto, I don't recommend using in a professional thing, but if you want to pretty much a breed Pokemon, then definitely catch a Ditto. But Solar Beam is actually a move that I can kind of recommend. Next, again, I can because Solar Beam actually takes up two turns. Well, it takes, it takes a turn to charge. And while that's not necessarily a bad thing, you're going to get hit a lot when stuff like that pops up because, I mean, it's, you know, a move here to charge for. I honestly don't recommend Solar Beam if that's just a fun, that's a preference. If you want to use something, then use it. But it's something I never really like to use. There was a jump cut there because I actually stopped recording, so I should say that. We're going to the gym, guys. Uh, yo, champ of the making, the hot head blings, the fire take Pokemon Pro. Yes, the spirit is water. So basically, yeah, we better have burn heals because you may get burned. Um, basically, the concept for this gym is you're actually going to answer questions. Um, so, there is that. It's basically questions, you know, we must of us now get it right, the door opens the next room, get it wrong, face the trainer. You want to conserve Pokemon for the gym leader? Well, I don't see the point of even saying that, because, I mean, Caterpie was a Nopod, that's true. That's really great, going on through. Yeah. But I'm going to battle these guys anyway. None of these guys are ever required to battle, as long as you get those right. And you should get them right if you play Pokemon, as long as I have. Now see, I have a problem with that. They say there are non-certified Pokemon badges here. But if you've seen the anime, there's an episode where basically Ash goes to fight uh, the, next, the next gym leader that we're going to see uh, pretty soon, actually. And of course, um, Gary shows up and he has 10 badges. So I always question that. And we also see an episode there before Ash goes to the Pokemon League. Um, basically, where... He has, uh, there's a guy who still steals Ash's badges, and he has, like, what, like, a whole badge of bat, A whole bag of badges, I'm sorry. What am I doing here? No. Oh. I think that question kind of confused me for because I think I read it the wrong way, and I was like, what the fuck is it saying? <laughs> Now, I'm going to tell you guys this here. There is actually one that I missed up on because I actually like, hit the mono. Or, I hit the. Um, I hit my uh, my down key actually when I was doing that. And I hit enter like right when I hit the down key. So that kind of screwed me over. I do know that though, that I accidentally screwed up there. That was just a miss up because I actually hit my uh, down key. So. I'm not stupid! <laughs> I know what I'm doing. There is a TM called Tombstoney. I just imagine that it's like the Undertaker pops out and just tombstones somebody through the ground. But this is Blaine. Um, it's a photo of Mr. Blaine, Mr. Fuji. They are staying shoulder sort of big grin. There's actually a hint here that both these guys used to work for Team Rocket, especially in the manga shows. Uh, the Intui Ultra Challenger. Better have burn heal. That's a terrible impersonation of Blaine from the anime, but you know what, I'll take it. This is Blaine! Blaine is, of course, a fire-type Pokemon ma master, really. Uh, gym leader, he's gonna start with Growlithe, level 42. Growlithe, we've already mentioned him before. If, basically, if you have a water-type, you're gonna wreck Blaine, no matter what. He's actually pretty easy to beat, except for his last Pokemon, which actually gives me a little bit of challenge, I believe, in this recording, or maybe the past time I did, the last time I did this. But, um, basically, Blaine's not really that hard to fight. I really know the gym leaders in this game are really that hard to beat, I don't think. But, um, he's gonna start with Ponyta. Ponyta is a fire type Pokemon. It's actually one of the only Pokemon, fire type Pokemon besides Shimshar's evolutions and Shimshar in general that you can actually get in Diamond and Pearl. 
Ponyta is mostly speed and slide special attack. Honestly, don't recommend Ponyta though. Next, he's gonna send out Rapidash. Oh, Chairman, Rapidash, Dash, Dash. The Rapidash, of course, has Fire Blast. All of his Pokemon actually do have Fire Blast, and this thing hurts if you get hit by it. Um, Rapidash, of course, the evolution of Ponyta, and you know, it's the always I wanna be with you and make believe with you. You know, four to six people like that. One isn't really that, but it's the one I like to think of. But Rapidash, pretty easy to take out. And next, he sent out his beast of an Arcanine. Arcanine is the evolution of Growlithe. Arcanine, of course, doesn't intimidate, which lowers your attack stat. Arcanine is actually pretty good to fight against. It's also really good to use. Um, if I was going to use a fire type in this game, it would have been Arcanine. But I didn't because of no reasons. Arcanine, though, is pretty tough. And, you know, it even almost took out a Lapis, which is never good. But we're actually going to throw a Confuse Ray down on him because I know he's going to use a Hyper Potion. So at least Arcanine will be confused for this turn. Uh, Fire Blast is also like Blizzard, uh, where it only hits 5 PP, so it's actually really hard to hit with, but if it hits, it hurts really badly. So you definitely want to watch out for Fire Blast. And of course, Blaine will have, uh, let's see, something like that, it's full heals. So, you, yeah, you definitely want to watch out. Blaine, I still think, is probably the hardest in the game, just because my team, in general, kind of has a weakness for Fire types. Because I have Shinju and... Nest, because Nest, of course, has that Ice type put in with Water type, but it's definitely something you don't watch out for. Uh, hit, I threw Hypnosis out here basically because I want to try to put Arcanine to sleep, and I can, of course, throw a few Psychics in and lower its uh, special attack. Or special defense, not special attack, I'm not thinking. Maybe I'm not, I thought I threw Hypnosis there on it. And I was actually planning to use Disable so I could disable that Fire Blast so I could throw Nest back out here and just take it out in one hit, but it just wasn't going to happen, I guess. But you know, we have Dennis here. Dennis can take a lot of uh, special attack because he's a big a defense, basically, so we can take him out, no problem. I don't know. I've always liked Arcanine. Uh, it, this design's always been pretty cool. If you guys have ever seen like the uh, fan art for Ghost Arcanine, oh my god, it's awesome looking. But yeah, we took down Blaine. We have our seventh badge, and you know we're almost there, guys. We almost ha we almost have all eight badges, which is insane to believe. And now we have the Volcano Badge, which is always cool. Okay, wait, try to switch that to your Pokemon. You're gonna add this too. I still like much of me Randy Savage. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, he gives us Fire Blast, though. And, of course, don't waste some Warp Pokemon. The thing is, though, uh, you can actually teach it to if you Warp Pokemon. Like, I know for sure Gyarados can actually learn Fire Blast, which is pretty cool, I think. So, say, if you ever have a Grass up against your Gyarados, then you can always use Fire Blast on it. So, that actually come in handy if you chose something. Like, say, if your rival... Uh, has a uh, Venusaur or how it has Exeggutor, of course, you can just throw Gyarados out and use Fire Blast on it and spill. One, oh, one island. I don't remember this in the main game. Whatever, though. Uh, of course, this is filler. Yep, filler. They brought filler into this remake for some reason. But, you know, we'll be handling the filler next episode. So, I'll see you guys then. Have an awesome day.